We've entered the Bizarro World. And here we have Kells versus Michael in Losers Finals with a really waiting for the winner in Grands. Let's see if this is the darkest timeline or the dankest. I don't know who, what is the dank timeline or who, who wins here. Whoever wins, Chicago loses. Alright. Kelly opened up with a, a smooth movement and some lasers. Michael got a pretty raw pound in the middle there. That was pretty cool. Oh man. Michael was rolling around the stage there. He was looking grim. Especially because he's basically at death percent. That's my favorite part of the old Mango Puff guide is that like his rationale for why you should be aggressive as Puff is he's like, you're gonna die anyways, you might as well. Which is like the exact opposite of what <laughs> any normal person would come to the conclusion, but hey, you know, some Puffs uh, embrace that mentality. Michael can be one of them, frankly. He can have his moments of just like sheer aggression, but I doubt that that's gonna come out versus, uh, versus Kells unless, you know, he has to really clutch it. One back air. Alright. Laser, laser, laser. I, my small consolation would be that maybe like Puff's like flower. I don't know. Maybe it. And actually, the lasers probably burn it. Let's get a uh, Mortal Kombat effects in melee. Just like Puff would be the most bloodied character when she, <laughs> after just getting lasered over and over. His blast marks are too precise. Ooh, you could have just held the edge there. Goes for kind of a cool reverse fair to back air. We got fighting in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> We got fighting in the chat. Abu claiming that Michael's clear record on netplay is not significant enough to uh, to merit his, the title of King of Chicago. But right here, with Kells with a stock lead, uh, it seems like the King of Chicago is, is rearing for grand finals. But I wouldn't count Michael out. He has a set win on Kells, just the one. Um, and I think once you break that barrier of... Uh, of beating somebody that you know you haven't beaten before makes it a lot easier in the future. You you know that it's you can do it because Gods you did. Gods can bleed. Gods can bleed. I seriously think, think, seriously think that's a huge deal. Is that like people freak out when they're getting close to beating somebody they've never beaten before, and that causes them to choke. Yeah, I definitely think this is a thing. All right, I gotta watch the set with you because Kelly is bleeding. Playing Blue Fox so that I can learn by his example. Is that what it means? Is I, he signaling you? I play Blue Fox. Yeah, he wants me to watch so I like know how to do stuff. Um, maybe Kels isn't so bad after all. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah. That's still a. Uh, not Fatherly confirmed. instinct does not necessarily mean good person. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm surprised that angle attached to the ledge. Dude, that's a dank angle. Oh man, it's really hard for me to find it in me to believe in Michael here. I want, I kind of want to see the comeback because I think Puff comebacks are pretty hype. They have to get a lot of, uh, yeah. of big plays, but... Oh yeah, it's so hard to come back from behind. But what more often happens is they just like spam back air. But not Michael. Michael doesn't need the back air. <laughs> He's got his friend the, the up air and, uh, and up throw chases. He wasn't able to complete it with a, a rest oh. or get him off stage. So it kind of went to nothing. 42%. Pretty cool. Yeah. People in the chat talking about Red Fox. Green Fox, perpetually slept on. Green, Green is Fox? A, it's a relaxing with color. His red, red stripper boots. Hey, man. Some of us <laughs> are into that. Um, Unless King there Shaming is, there's is your the, I like the Green Fox skin with the regular boots. Yeah. But. Look at this! I didn't believe. Yeah, he certainly has the resilience. He's coming back. That puff needs. Oh man, it's it's like the best feeling in melee. Uh, oh, I was about to make yeah, some cool scary. speech about the resiliency of the spirit. Turns out, uh, God is dead. Life is suffering. Life is suffering. As Webbs would say. Kells takes game one. 
This kind of is a postmodern stream. We're going into deep themes here. We have a uh, yeah, a lot of Chicago's trolls too. Yeah. Once the trolls come out in chat and you're like sub 100 viewers, that's when you that's when you really Whoa. can talk about deep stuff. Prince of Boo, take it easy on the modding. I do like what he said about Puff. Puff always has to be making plays. Big plays. Oh. Uh, what do you call it? The Shakespeare theory. The Shakespeare theory? Because <laughs> you gotta always be making plays. You always gotta be making plays. Or, you know, steal plays from another more educated guy. Yeah. What's that? Who's that guy? Uh, Alfred Lord Tennyson theory? I don't know. Yeah, totally. There's a guy. I, I'm a big believer that uh, Shakespeare actually did write all of his, uh, his plays, though. Which would be incredible. Nietzsche and Melee, classic combo. Nietzsche and Melee. The combo is true. Dude, here's the thing. Oh, People say 20XX is dead, and they say, oh, yeah, well, uh, Hacks is dead, not 20XX. But what really that phrase means is that the idea of playing suboptimally has died. That's the point Hacks money was making when his, he claimed 20XX. Oh. Hacks is Nietzsche. Hacks is Melee's Nietzsche. Hacks? Nietzsche. <laughs> Nietzsche. I heard Hacks might be coming back with the Smash Box. Yeah, it's true. Since it'll be easier on his hands. Even Fox's movement sounds like Nietzsche. Nietzsche! Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Nietzsche! <That's a> <laughs> oh, man. God, this is another game on that. Why did Why did he go back to Battlefield? I guess because he like made a big comeback at the end here, but he's setting himself up in the same position. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm never a fan of players going back to places they lost. I'm not sure if it's to... Uh... Learn the mat, learn the matchup on the stage, or learning. Well, it was well, he was close, right? Oh. One side. I don't care, but you, but he lost. Like you still lost. You should just go to the better stage. Yeah, like yeah. or not necessarily better stage, but try a different, run a different experiment. Like, is it so risky to try something else? What have you got to lose? Well, hard to say. Basically, going uh, back, me, yeah. Oh, man, the sad story. Yeah, I'm trying. All right. Oh, I, I really oh that really. was a huge play. If he can finish this off here, that was good. really good. Zero percent. Got him down to two stocks. All right, Kelly, laser, laser, laser. Yo, I agree with the boot. Melonhead is a wall. <laughs> it is hard to get through. But Kelly. you know what? Michael is going to disassemble the uh, the male patriarchy. The proletariat is going to take on the bourgeois. One stone at a time. Take the bricks and return them to the people. Dude, Michael is playing against the king of patience here. It's patience versus patience. Yeah, he's really... The buzzword of the day is patience. The reality of the day is six-minute games. Okay, I mean, it's <laughs> smart that Kelly is keeping the match in the middle because... Oh, he made, he made another comeback! Oh, come on. Oh, if he had finished that off there, that would have been so clutch. He's still got a chance, though. I kind of think of Michael as, like, the Prince of Boo of Prince of Boo Puffs. Do you know what I mean? It's... He's the... He's the but he, just Puff, though. He's Prince of Boo squared. He's the Prince of Boo to Prince of Boo's hungry box. <laughs> Only in game. Yeah, no, I mean in terms of like the the hidden number two. Alright, Kelly, you know how to play this matchup. Yeah, Kelly Kel knows how to play this matchup. That's <laughs> aptly put. Sitting at 2 0. Oh. Yeah, one day Michael's gonna take off his mask. And he's gonna... just reveal that he's Prince Boo. Yeah, or like, I don't know, some Smash 4 player, who knows. Or pop off. Or pop off. Underneath underneath this mask, he is like full of emotion and rage. Yeah. Just this, it, he's the, the molten core. Yeah, I want to find out that Michael has like a Wait. diary or like an art series. Wait, do you see what stage we're on here? Again, Battlefield. Do you see what stage we're on? Dude, yeah, I guess Michael just really wants to. Michael wants to see the stars, dude. And, uh, get victory on this stage. Final Destination isn't doing for him. He needs that 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 nighttime uh, comfort. Nyquil. Shout out to the sleeping medi medication. Try not to get addicted to it. Nah. 
grabs what lasers. What if Battlefield is just Michael's favorite stage? Well, I if I lose on my favorite stage two games in a row, I try to get a new different sta favorite stage. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> still not trying to do that. This All is right. a little bit of a better opening, I think. Well, Kelly has switched his strategy a little bit. He's not doing lasers as much now. Now he's dash chance grabbing. Yeah. And especially because, like... <laughs> He's basically like preempting Michael getting having any kind of response to his wall of lasers from games one and two. Right. Oh, the shorten. And Michael, like, you expect Puff, you're like, okay, he got him off stage. This is it. You get the stock. And Michael just isn't able to do that really consistently, except in these huge comeback streaks. It's really weird. <clears throat> it's like when he should be doing good, he's doing bad, and when he should be doing bad, he's doing good. Yeah, Kelly's. Just not uh, exposing himself as much as other foxes he's played today. Yeah, I always uh, am glad when Kelly doesn't expose himself. He's not. He's not staying in the corner. Yeah. He's... I kind of think of Michael as a young player, so like too much exposure and you know he can be scarred. Don't fly too close to the sun, Michael. <laughs> Don't fly, Kid Icarus, the man himself. Oh, these down airs are so weird. Michael does some weird puff stuff, <laughs> like getting uh, again. Yeah, that is really weird. Oh, is this? We're we're on our way. We're marching to a four stock. The adjustment Kel's made. And now we can mix in the strategy from games one and two. He's got gimps. He's got grabs. He's got the entire tool set. And Michael is looking real like uh, really lost. Yeah, Michael can't really breathe right now. He can't breathe. Oh, oh man. Big DI though for Michael to avoid getting the up throw up air. No four stock, which I'm have pretty much no opinion about. It's kind of weird how like little I think about the actual stock count compared to you can just it doesn't really matter the stock count if you can feel somebody dominating. Right. You know, it changes the probability of a comeback to some degree, but like that felt like a four stock because of the way Kyle's changed his gameplay. Oh, and here, Michael DI. playing good again! Did he just keep DIing in? I'm not sure. So, but like, Michael isn't able to get these things on his first, second, or third stock. It's right. every single game, it's just on his last stock. So does Kells change how he plays? Does Kells get impatient when he just wants to end the game? And then Michael punishes that? Or does Michael turn up? Hmm. No peach intended. Well, Kelly usually doesn't mix up his game until something stops working. And this has been working all set. And it works all the This is the, the fastest way. Michael set. Yeah, that's the fastest Michael. Shout outs to Kells for keeping things quick. Only four minute games. Actually, nah. Kells and Quick in the same sentence. Without the word isn't in the middle. <laughs> Alright. Losers finals is over. Grand finals. Gonna see another set of O'Reilly versus Kells. Kells versus Dark O'Reilly. O'Reilly has sold his soul in order to win. He will laser you for five minutes, if need be. In the last set, in the last set, characters played included Captain Falcon from both players, Falco from O'Reilly, Fox from both players, Marth. From Kells. It was a real tour de force of Melee's character select screen amongst the eight viable characters that we see uh, most often. Give me like 30, 30 seconds. Generic Joey, hour and a half from GHQ, that's walking distance for Midwest Smash. <laughs> 